Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any vehicle having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL that generation here from Europe 2007 to Europe 2014. If you have one of those guys and if you have a problem where your phone does not charge in this video today, we'll explain what can easily cause that. Most of the times, guys, okay, it's two things that can cause it. We'll talk about that, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix transmissions engines bodywork interior electrical engine codes almost absolutely everything why we do that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and on this channel alone today guys we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL why let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located where fuel injector fuse is located uh, all you have to do watch the video one two minutes you replace that fuse you're back on the road so we make it for your convenience guys please subscribe to the channel like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way do not waste money and time so let's start on it now so guys what can easily cause your phone not to charge it could be two things but first the most common one you will need to check up to three different fuses now you will have multiple uh, locations where you can charge your phone in your GMC Yukon and that's why you have multiple fuses the first fuses that we need to check are in a fuse box on the side of the dash under that cover remove that cover and this is okay right here the main uh, interior fuse box with a layout like this one before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below if a phone does not charge two fuses will need to be checked in that fuse box and we need to go to a different one and check some more oh and by the way guys if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out guys here fuse numbers goes like that one two this is the first fuse that you need to check fuse number two then three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen fuse number sixteen right here will need to be checked as well next go under the hood here see that box here open that cover guys that's the main engine fuse box with a layout like that one here you need to check fuse number 53 if these fuses guys keep burning you need to check your uh, socket okay the cigarette lighter socket it could be a bad cigarette lighter socket or if it still doesn't work it could be a burnt cigarette lighter socket we have multiple videos on our channel how to replace cigarette lighter socket hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time 